What is up, babies? It's the weekend. Well, it's actually technically Friday for us. We just got back from California. Yes? <laughs> yes? Whoa! The hell was that? Oh! You better clean that up. What? You were just playing with it. <laughs> I know. That's the problem. That's the person to be the dad. Please, you get to do the fun stuff and tell him not to do it. Don't throw it in the house, okay? You can throw it outside. Please don't. throw it outside. <gasps> you dropped one. Oh, no. Can I please throw one? Okay, you'll throw one. One. Ow, you threw it at my foot. It's supposed to be on the floor. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It's one. Go. Okay, that was that like was three. three. No more. Okay, no more. Okay. So what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted is that uh, today's gonna be a crazy one. This weekend's gonna be a crazy weekend for no, us. No, no, over here, in the front. Oh. Yeah, go in the front. Um, because a lot of our furniture finally came in. I'm so stoked because I ordered all this stuff back in. Come here, come inside. Come inside. Come. She has to go bathroom. Okay, go. You come inside. Um, I ordered all of this stuff back in September. And since a lot of the stuff came in, I'm buying other stuff so that we can complete the look. So you know that we've been getting our backyard done and that's about, I wanna say 95% done. There's still like, I feel like I keep saying this in so many vlogs, but there's just rock choices and just a couple of things that we need to change. To show them our cool dining table. No, dude. I was just talking, oh, <laughs> talking about it. Um, but yeah, a lot of stuff came in already and I want to show you. I wasn't going to go in the order, but Papa already brought it up, so I might as well just kind of continue that. Holy shit, it's cold. It's 43 uh, degrees. Uh, it's cold. Uh, 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 uh. Fucking hate that guy. Um, yes, so one of the pieces that came in is our outdoor dining table with chairs. This is all from West Elm. Yes, West Elm. And um, I signed up for their business program, the BTB program. So I do get an additional 20% off. So if you own a business, sign up and then you get a really good discount on a lot of the furniture. So yeah, we'll eventually be moving all of this stuff out and I'll make it all cute and I'll put like a planner and, and whatnot there. But at least it's here. I love it so much. Gives me like this really cool Mediterranean vibe. Seats eight. It's gonna be amazing. This already came in too. I don't know if I shared this with you guys or not, but these pieces here, it's gonna be a bonfire that we have to hook up. And uh, yeah, I got a kind of smaller one just so it really fits the space. I gotta move it over so that there's leg room here and you don't feel like you're about to fall off here. Another piece that came in, oh my God, look at the plane. <laughs> Another piece that came in is this tandem, or not tandem, but like joint, Wow, there's a crazy ass fucking tumbleweed in here. How did it even get here? What the fuck? It was <laughs> a windy ass day. This is crazy. Okay, well anyway, yeah, this is, it's like a bed, isn't it? But it seats two people. I'll put it up later, but yeah, it looks really, really pretty. Here we have like a little play set. Well, a pretty big play set coming in. Holy shit, that thing changed colors. It was green before we left. It's a little pomegranate tree. We got a lemon tree, and that's a lime tree. Or no, that's the lime. I don't know, it's one or the other. But holy shit, that was green. Okay, sign of the times, it's winter's coming. Um, What else, and this right here. We gotta pressure wash everything and clean it, but here is the kick it spot. We got it black, because I just figured Getting it white would just not be a cute look since we have a black, like it's super modern here, right? Like there's so much black, like our ceiling is black. So getting white in this section just didn't make any sense. So went with black. It's not in its final position. I still have to, like I said, pressure wash. I have to stain this. Okay, for my OGs, 
Who remembers this table? They were in all of our vlogs, maybe like two years ago and on. This is the first coffee table we got. These are all Tyco marks. So I wanted to keep this piece just because it's, I don't know, so near and dear to my heart. It's so damn cute. It is fucking old and super weathered. Well, not even that old. Tyco's not even that old. But it's gone through some shit, you know what I'm saying? So I did buy some stain that I found maybe on TikTok or something. So I got it off of Amazon. I will be treating it and staining it all over again and hopefully I can restore it as close to his original look as possible. So that's gonna be super cutie. But yeah, and then we'll like kind of set all this up because we do have friends coming over in about a week or so. And we want our house to look really, really nice. Why am I so winded? <sighs> yeah, but also, I don't know if you remember this conversation, but we were at some like, um, home like what is it called like a farmer's like gardening type store and Bart wanted this and I was like dude it's not gonna fit with the aesthetic that we want for our house it's just not gonna look right and lo and behold he was arguing that it's gonna look right he's like it's fucking sick and I'm like bro it looks so dumb so yeah once this whole area gets set up this has to go bye bye like not throw it away because it's a great product, but it just has to go. Hey, come inside. Okay. And then the inside. So I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked that we're like slowly like sinking in our roots. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let me bring these dogs in. Taika. I mean, oh my God. You didn't hear that. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. I was calling for him when I meant to call for the dogs. Please. Mia. Cooper. Mia, come. Cooper. Yeah, you good boy. Come on. That yep. I went over to the neighbor. <gasps> Don't do that. I did like 10 times. Don't do that. Okay, the next thing that came in are... Okay, so these are my outdoor rugs. One of them going in the, the table area. It's so cool. I got these off of Wayfair Outdoor. Look at this. Like, how cool is that? And then this is furry. So it's going to go on the outside. And then this one is really pretty. Oh, I don't think you could see it, but kind of. It has brown, grays, and whites. I feel like it's really gonna make that space pop. The other thing that came in is this rug. When I got it, it was so beautiful. It just never fit the size of the table or the space. Like it's a asymmetrical, excuse me, asymmetrical rug. You see it's like oddly shaped too. But it just didn't fit the space. I should have got it bigger. They're just mistakes were made. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna keep it. But when this little boy came to town, hey, you, he started biting the carpet. You see all those little holes? Yep, that's this guy, that's you. So look at all that. So it was a perfect excuse to get a new carpet. So I went with Ruggable because they mark it, you can um, wash all of their rugs. So I went with it and I got a Jonathan Adler collab with Ruggable. And let me show you, cause I just did this whole thing, but look at these colors, look at these colors. Okay, hold one second. Okay, so I kind of just folded it in half. It's super thin, very easy to move. It comes with these like Velcro non-slip pads so once you're ready to wash it you just remove them you throw in the washer i don't know what washer would hold this i think i got an eight by ten but look at this beauty love the pattern can't wait to swap it out that came in also ruggable by jonathan edler these guys like look at how beautiful they look it really made i mean we just got back from california so ignore this mess but it really made our bland kitchen, I mean, it's still a very beautiful kitchen. It really did make it come to life. I love it so much. Also, washable. It's okay, thank you. Um, there's so many things, so many updates. Ooh, what else? I bought another one from some other place, maybe Wayfair. And I was like, I really like the Ruggable one. It's washable. I don't even want to open that. I'm just going to return it. So I won't even waste your time showing you that. The other cool thing that's happening is... Ho! 
All right, so. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How the heck did that low? <laughs> Where did this guy come from? <laughs> So we're clearing out Taika's space because a lot of the furniture when we moved in, we kind of just put it wherever it fit. So an example of that, he wants me to save him. I'm not saving him, is this. We have like two dressers and like empty cubbies. Yeah, because um, we're just like, put it wherever it fits for now. We'll deal with it later. So none of this stuff has been permanent. I mean, you can still see we haven't added anything to our walls yet we have so many things we have to add excuse me sir go outside um and i'm glad we didn't because you know we moved into a brand new build and the builder guarantees the house for a year uh with cosmetics so our year came up and we did this thing called blue taping and uh blue taping is you kind of walk through the house and any imperfections you add a little piece of blue tape and then the house or the the builder will come and then fix all that. So if you see a lot of these little pieces of tape, you okay? That's what it means. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't put any of these things up. I'm telling myself that. Cause like here, right? Like drywall's cracking. So they're gonna fix that. Um, I initially, I was gonna put like a mirror or something here, but I'm glad I didn't, you know? Because I knew this was coming up. And also I just haven't had a lot of time. Okay, so back to Tyka's room. So much going on, isn't there? Um, yeah, I found this really cool. Do you need help? You know how I'm using to slide the thing? His shirt, pajamas? They're slippers. Oh, but they have grippies, don't they? I flipped them upside down. <laughs> <laughs> That's some nice Wizard of Oz fucking <laughs> like Wicked, like Wicked Witch of the West shit. That's funny, huh? Hey, whatever works. Yes, so back to what I keep trying to say is, yeah, went to, or I saw Ikea, uh, I'm gonna buy like these cubby, like drawer systems, and it's gonna be like in a shape, if you can, like that, like a U. And then that way I can get rid of all this, like, crap that he has everywhere, and it'll, I'll find a really cool home for it. I'm hoping it all works out and it looks really nice. Um, if not, fuck it, he's stuck with it. Not a big deal, but yeah, I just want the house to flow better, look nicer, um, and yeah, all of that's going to happen this weekend. So this is just like one little portion of the whole vlog, so I can't wait to show you what's going to happen tomorrow. Holy moly! Good job, Papa! And we think this will fit here? I measured it well. In aesthetics-wise? Okay, let me help you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's going to hit the door. Good job. Uh, come and help this guy and then I'll be right back. So while I was busy trying to fix the drawers, because what I realized okay, what's is... I have no idea. I lost it a few days ago. Got sick. I don't know. But what I realized is the movers, they um, didn't install the drawers correctly. So even though they were working, they weren't smooth. So me being the OCD that I was... I was putting the drawers back in. I was like, wait a second, why is it not smooth? And now they're incredibly smooth. So I put all the drawers back in and I fixed it. Just a little humble brag, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when I came out, I heard all this vacuuming and I'm like, no way, no way, no way. There's no way that Ma Bear is doing what I thought, what I thought she was gonna do. So Ma Bear, Mom is one of those type of people where she can't wait. Super impatient, like crazy. And so she has no right to ever teach Taika any patience because she's the most impatient person in the world. Says the most so, impatient person. Wait, hold on. There's, there's, there's lots, lots of noise. Let me come back in this hallway. So anytime that there's like a package that comes in, she has to open it right away. And so it wasn't even part of the plan today to put the new carpet in. And I come out back in. I was like, no way, no way, no way. And guess what? Yup. She moved the whole table all oh, of a sudden. So someone awesome. someone that can't even open a jar oh, I knew it. can all of a sudden move a stone table. Oh. This bad boy is stone, dude. Look I at this. This. this is a stone table. This is like, this is that like, that's world record powerlifting. You break your back over a 135 and you'll deadlift 500. This is incredible. I'm no, yeah, right. <laughs> 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 oh 
Oh, by the way, did you ever tell him about the little Nerf bullet in the AC vent? No, I love it. I'm never taking that out. <laughs> All right, so one day I was walking by and we saw uh, this little Nerf bullet <laughs> in the AC vent. And me and Mabra looked at each other. We had to look like, yeah, we're never taking that down. Because it's so fucking cute. Obviously, Tyka's the one that shot it in there. And I'll forever be like these cuny kid memories. Like everything looks all clean. And then you look up. And there's a little Tyka souvenir right there. Okay, it was a feat. Because with Ruggable, remember I showed you the Velcro unit? That goes on top of the actual rug. You have to align it. It does create some lumps. But look at her. My coral princess. I love it. I just, I'm going to vacuum her real quick. <gasps> ah, so cute. I love it. Do you like it? It feels kind of girly. But I like it because I think like um, interior design that's a little bit on the more girl. The end feels more cozy and warm. Okay. Versus like hard obsidian, like black river rocks. Like it doesn't, it doesn't feel, you know, like when it feels too like, Bruce Wayne-ish, it feels like, oh, this for a lot of family, it's not cute. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I think so, but, okay, I'm gonna vacuum and then I'll put this stuff on top and then we'll see where we're at at that point. Okay, so day, huh? Okay, so today is day two of fixing the house, putting it together, making it look good, decorating the house, I think that's what I wanna say. Day two of fixing up the house, decorating the house, fuck. Anyway, today is day two of whatever we're doing. Uh, Papa is about to pressure wash all of our tile. I don't know if you can see. Nope. Reflection. Hold on. Yes. So we have dog throw up. We have stains, dirt. Everything is just effed up right now. And, um, whoa. Whoa. That's pretty good. Yeah, bark at him. No one should, those moves should be barked at. Good job. Do not do that, that's so scary. So he's gonna pressure wash this entire floor because it's just all sorts of stains everywhere and he's gonna do that right before we lay down the carpets and stuff here too. Like it's not horrible, but I mean, I wanna put the carpets down on like a clean floor. Also, today was the first day we had a gardener come by and clean up all of our um, yard plants and damn does it make a difference like this shit is fucking beautiful like hello there's not a dead leaf in sight the other thing that they did that I had no idea because I've never owned palm trees in my life so I don't know if you remember what it looks like but let me try to show you so try to picture a palm tree right got it okay good um they all have the base that looks kind of like these guys, right? And then like as the trunk gets bigger, these things get bigger. Well, fun fact, when you leave it out like that, um, you run the chance of scorpions coming in in the wintertime because they want to stay warm and they hide in there. So the gardener was like, yo, let me clean that for you guys because I've already had a couple of my guys um, and they've been stung by it because I don't want that for you guys and I'm like, Amen, brother. I don't want that for you either. So, they did this. They cleaned all of this stuff up. Look at how beautiful they look now. But yeah, I had no fucking idea that they do that. Um, so the yard looks really nice. Like, after living here for a year, I'm starting to feel like, yay! We're finally sinking our roots in! And it feels so nice, because if you've been following us, we don't stay in one place for too long for many different reasons so the fact that we're doing all of this shit you know even though we've had multiple properties this is the first time that we've been here long enough to get these things settled in and it's just so damn exciting i can't i feel like it's freaking christmas for me already and also ignore the guy on the roof back there he is putting up my neighbor's lights we didn't do that we didn't pay for someone to professionally install our lights like that we had papa do it let me show you and he got the smallest bulbs ever. And I mean, I guess it fits because our house is very modern. So it looks very like minimal, minimalist. Let me see. <laughs> Look at these little teeny little lights he got. 
Oh, they're actually on right now. I mean, they do the job, but when you see the professionally installed ones, they look professional and they're really bright. But whatever, this has been the second house uh, that we get to put lights on. And I'm just ecstatic that we even get to put lights on. So yay, progress. Okay, let's go back inside. Shit, I came out with my house slippers. Papa's already waiting. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a truck. It scared the shit out of me. Okay, so on to another thing as Papa's doing that. Um, I think I showed you that we moved all this shit out from Tyka's room. I picked all that stuff up and it's all, Tyka's taking a nap, but it's all here. gonna get assembled tomorrow. That's Tyka's room. That was Tyka's room over there. Uh, and we hired via Task Rabbit. Cause brother, we are not assembling IKEA shit anymore. Because you know why? Cause I'm assembling this shit. I bought these nightstands a year ago. And I didn't get around to doing it. And now I wanna do it and the Fucking instructions are so complicated and very contradictory and it's very frustrating. But I will figure it out. But anyway, they're really cute. They have like this little leather pool. They're white. This is a leather pool. I got two of them. It's gonna go here. And here it kind of matches with these, you know, with this leather and the the wood, and we got wood fixture here. So I got I got these lamps from, oh, we gotta turn off, oh, we gotta turn off all these. Cool. I got these lamps, oh, it's gonna bother me. I left that one on. And I was like, oh, I'm vlogging, I'll turn it off later, but OCD much? No, I really don't have OCD, but it does bother me. Um. Okay, let's go in, okay. And I got, these lamps from Amazon. They're so cute. Look at these. They'll go like this. Like, ma'am. Look how beautiful they look. Yeah, I'm stoked. I'm gonna assemble these and then. Shh. It was me. I made the noise. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Yeah, so let me fix this. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is, <sighs> not my favorite, but it needs to get done. It's kind of sort through all this junk. We all go through this and we stick our dirty fingers in here to see what snacks we're gonna eat. So it's just a freaking shit show in here. So I do wanna clean that up and organize it. Oh, I gotta show you what stuff I got from Amazon. I mean, um, IQ too. I do wanna organize it, but look at this. So I'm washing the other round, but I got some, look at these. It's like a flat green. I don't even know what shade of green this is. It's like a muted mint. These are all from Ikea. And then I also got a beige and then I'm gonna like, interchange it so then it'll be like a beige smaller um plate and then like a green bowl or something like it'll just look really nice and i think for a set of 16 it was 50 bucks i'm like yeah let's do that so got that got the other round in here washing <sighs> there's a lot going on but i think it's just been long overdue like we've had to have done this I don't know. Other people get this shit done within the first year. We're going on, I don't know. I even Maybe within the first few months. But yeah, we're going into our year mark. Or we just passed the year mark. And we're barely getting to it. So <laughs> it's been long overdue. Dang, look at this guy doing some manly stuff. Wow. Look at him. He's looked to see if we were watching him. He does have some good hips though. All right, I'm gonna make you guys fall in love. Make you guys fall in love. Look at that, ooh. Lucky me. 
Oh, and I never showed you. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Look at how gorgeous this carpet looks. It is perfection. I absolutely love it. Ignore that. We have to mount them at some point. We have to wait for them to come and take care of all this blue tape shit. So we probably won't put anything up. That right there is temporary. All those little knick-knack pettywax back there is... They're not even supposed to be there. That's just the first place I put them once we moved because I didn't want any of that stuff to break. That mirror is horrible. Definitely not supposed to be there. I want to get a big old mirror. But we're doing it one step at a time. Also, hello. Look at how beautiful this is. Ikea, dude. It's fucking gorgeous. Ikea. Coming in clutch. Okay. What else was I going to do? Okay, let me get back to work before. I don't know. Bart starts stuck in shit in a funny way. Okay, so Taika's still sleeping. And this room's next day, his room. So I put the lamp in and I don't like it. I don't think it fits. Look at that. Like it's a beautiful lamp, but it's not the vibe. And I mean, obviously that nightstand's gonna go. That's just an extra mattress. Cause we have friends with kids coming over and they're gonna use that, but pretend that's not there. It's on a white, oh no, just even that looks, it's, it's, a, it's a no for me, boss. So I'm gonna return it. Bummer. It looked more beige, or at least more natural wood, like warmer. It looked more like that online. And then when I got it, it's like super white. Like what the F? <sighs> okay, so now the moment has arrived. We are putting our carpets down. Since we had it rolled up, it is rolling up. So we're trying to put some weight on it so that it starts flattening itself out. I don't know what I was thinking getting white. We'll see how long it lasts getting white. But I've never had it white, so fuck it, we're going with it. We're gonna get what we want this round. Then we're gonna learn our lessons, and then I'll still probably do it again. Okay, anyway. We also got a pressure washer. I'm plastic. Okay. Men logic. Men math. That's what that's called. Um, okay, so now it's time to get these bad boys set up. We've already moved it from this location. Now here, the carpet we moved about three or four times. So I think it'd be pretty fun to get a little time lapse going so we could see how long it takes us to set this area up. Ding!